I'm Kayleigh and today I'm going to be showing you some sole roll exercises that you can try at home. All you need is a ball and a small amount of space. So when I talk about sole rolls, all that I mean is using the sole or the underneath of my foot to move and control the ball. Today I'm going to show you five different exercises, starting a little bit simple and then getting more and more complicated as we move on. So for exercise number one, we want to place our foot on top of the ball and just rock it forwards and backwards. This is just to try and get used to having the ball underneath our foot. So press down a little bit so that you can really feel the ball on your foot and make sure that you're moving all the way from your toes to your heel. So for an extra challenge, what we can do is add in a hop on our other foot. And let's try the same thing, but on the other foot. So just rocking forwards and backwards. And again, if we want to add in that hop, if we feel comfortable. So for exercise number two, we're gonna do a similar thing, sticking with our sole roll rock, but this time we're gonna go from side to side. Now these drills are all really great for your balance as well. And if we want to add that extra challenge, let's add in that hopping movement again. You can see while I'm doing that hopping movement, I'm using my arms to help me balance. So I have them out a little bit from my body and I'm swaying them side to side, almost in the opposite direction from my leg. But you'll get more natural with that the more you do that movement and that skill. So let's try it on the other foot as well. So you can stay here or you can join me and try that hopping movement. So now that we're getting comfortable with the ball underneath our foot, we can think about moving it more. So for skill number three, I'm going to start with my foot on top of the ball and I'm going to use the sole to roll the ball across to my other foot. Really simple. Again, make sure you're putting a little bit of pressure on the ball each time you roll it. And the reason we want to do that is so that we don't accidentally miss the ball because that does happen quite often if we're trying to do a really light touch on the ball. So put a little bit of pressure to make sure that that doesn't happen. Once you're comfortable with that, you can add a little bit more speed and you're almost hopping from one foot onto the other. So for exercise number four, it's probably our most challenging one today, and that's our sole roll crossover. So what we're gonna do is start with our foot on top of the ball. We're gonna roll it across the other leg, and then uncross the other foot and stop the ball. So roll across, stop. Roll across, stop. Roll across, stop. So if you're happy with that, go ahead and start practicing that. If you're still a little bit confused, then let's try the movement without the ball. So I'm gonna start with my feet around here, around hip width apart. I'm gonna cross one of my legs in front of the other, and then I'm gonna uncross the other one behind. And then we're gonna go the other way. So cross in front, uncross from behind. Once you've practiced that movement a bit and you've got the hang of that, let's add the ball back in. So I'm going to be rolling the ball with the leg that crosses in front. So roll across in front and then my leg that's coming from behind is the one that stops the ball, just using the inside of your foot. So roll across, stop.
Now the thing we need to concentrate when we're doing this drill is to make sure that when you start rolling the ball, you're starting the roll from the outside of the ball. What we don't want to do is start from the top of the ball and the reason is that sometimes we'll miss the ball. We want to make sure that the ball comes with us as we move so you're going to have more chance of doing that if you start your roll from the outside. So if you want an extra challenge onto that exercise, what we can do is add a bell tap on the end. If you remember our bell taps from our other week's video, it's just tapping the ball across using the inside of your foot from one foot to the other. So we're going to add two taps onto the end of our sole roll, just like this. Roll across, tap, tap. Roll across, tap, tap. So for exercise number five, we're gonna go back to something a little bit more simple. We're gonna start with the ball just beside one of our feet and with our other foot on top. We're then gonna roll the ball out and then use the inside of our foot to stop the ball. So roll out, stop, roll out, stop. So well done on completing all five sole roll exercises for today. Keep practicing those and you'll get more and more comfortable using the underneath of your foot to control the ball. Let us know how you get on and you can even send us in your videos. I'd love to see how you got on, especially with our challenge for today, which was our sole roll crossovers. Thanks for watching and see you soon.